Hi, hello, welcome back. So today we will be discussing about ICD 10 CM guidelines, chapter 17, congenital malformation, deformation, and chromosomal abnormalities. Code series Q00 hyphen Q99. If you are watching my channel for the first time, please do subscribe and if you find it useful, please do share it with your friends also. So the chapter begins like chapter chapter 17 of ICD-10 CM code manual focus on congenital condition that are present from birth. These conditions can be classified into three main categories. The three categories are congenital malformation, congenital deformation and chromosomal abnormalities. So these are the three main categories. So we will see the definition for congenital malformation. These are structural abnormalities that arise during fetal development leading to anomalies in organ system or body parts. Congenital deformation means the deformity in the structure. So these are the abnormalities uh, that change in the chromosomes number or structures and can affect multiple system in the body. Assign an appropriate code from category Q00 to Q99 for congenital malformation, deformation and chromosomal abnormalities. A malformation, deformation or a chromosomal abnormality that is Q, Q series can be a principal diagnosis or it can be a secondary diagnosis. When we don't have a unique code assignment for this uh, uh, Q series we can code for the manifestation when the code assignment specifically identifies a malformation deformation or abnormality manifestation that are inherent components should not be coded separately additional code should be assigned for manifestation if it is not included in that diagnosis code uh, chapter 17 Q series can be coded throughout the life of the patient if the congenital uh, malformation, deformation or an uh, abnormality is being corrected, it should be coded as a personal history code. Although it is present at the time of birth and may not be identified until later in the life, uh, like uh, at any age Q series can be coded. For the birth admission, the appropriate is at the date. Like um, when a baby is born, at the time of birth itself, if the condition is being identified, uh, is at 38 should be the primary code and Q series should be the secondary code. So that's all about uh, Q series. It's a very small chapter and easy to understand also. So at the end of uh, all the guidelines, we'll start with uh, practice questions so that you can relate or implement all those guidelines in this questionnaire. So thank you so much for watching. Wish you all the best for your interview as well as if you're preparing for your CPC exam. Take care. Bye-bye.